Hello and welcome back to Simple and Difficult. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this digital maquette. All right, so it is basically, the things I did in this work is um, basically three things. You know, I set up the cameras and I set up the lights and then the materials, okay? So first of all, setting up the camera, you know, you have to make sure that the camera is um, in orthographic. All right, so when it is in orthographic, it is going to give you this isometric or asymmetric kind of view. If it is in perspective, it is going to be difficult for you to be able to get the vertical lines to be straight. It's going to take a lot of time. And even after that, it is not still going to be straight. So, but when it is in isometric, you cannot have it. The, the vertical lines will not be straight and parallel. Then you cannot get your cameras from the view. All right. So after setting up the cameras, we are going to set three cameras. After setting up the cameras, the next thing we did was, you know, set up the lights. Now I made use of two point lights, okay? The first one is the key light. Now this one is going to be a lot brighter. I made it to be a lot brighter. And then the second one is the field light, which I placed above, okay? As you can see, the key light is placed like 45 degrees diagonally from the, from the model, okay? And then the field light is placed right above the model. And this one, I am going to make it very, 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 soft okay so it is just supposed to cast a little bit of light to make our shadow not to be too dark all right so now the next thing we are going to talk about is how i created the materials you can see we have three materials okay we have the wood materials we have the concrete materials and then we have the floor base material this floor base material is divided like into two these perforated parts okay the perforated parts is supposed to symbolize the green areas Okay, now the, the part that is solid, those parts are the walkway, right? So I used, um, let's start with the wood material. For the wood material, I created the wood material myself. If you want to see the details of how I created this material, okay, I'll put the link in the description for the detailed version of this video where I teach you every single, I, take, I took my time to explain every single thing I did. So I created the wood material and I applied it. After applying the, after applying the wood material, so this first one, I used this particular part of the model to be able to set up the wood. Okay, I edited the material and then I used UVW map to map it properly. So after doing that, I now selected all the part of the model that I would. Okay, and then detach the ones I have to detach because there's a way I modeled the model. I modeled this thing in 3 years max. Okay, there are some parts that are supposed to be concrete which is also attached to the part that's supposed to be wood. So what I did was I selected those parts, you know, using the sub elements. I selected those parts and then I detached them and then I applied the wood materials to those parts. And then I used UVW map as usual to set the maps, you know, the way I want them to be. All right. So then for the, for the, for the concrete material, I used the mix map. All right. Two mix maps. Then I used color correction. Okay. And the first one, I set the color to be dark green, like really dark green. And then the second color, using the color correction, I set it to be light gray. All right, then I now use this map. The link is in the description. You can check it out and download it to be able to follow along. And I use this map as a layer mask. So wherever the map is black, you are going to see the material that is on top. And wherever it is white, you are going to see this material. That is the gray material, which is below. The green material is what you're going to see when it is black. And then the gray material is what you're going to see. So when these two materials, when they, when, when you put, apply them to the elements in the model, it is going to now show like a concrete, All right? Now, with the use of UVW map, I was able to map it around and then get the desired, the desired result that I want. So after applying it to this particular one that I used to set it up, I now selected every other part of the model that I want to be concrete and I made those parts concrete. So after that one, the next thing is the perforated material which is supposed to represent the grass. So I used this particular this particular map, this this mesh map, like I don't even know, should I call it mesh map or you know polka dot map. Okay, so I downloaded it off the internet from Pinterest. You can download it anywhere you want. Just make sure it's of good quality. Okay, so I downloaded it and I brought it in. You can see this map is actually, when you look at it, you can see that it is actually two is the one. When you look at the aspect ratio of the one of the of the map, you can see it is one thousand by five hundred, which means 
when you bring it in and you want to map it, you have to make sure that you maintain that same ratio. What I did was I duplicated the Corona Legacy material. And after duplicating the material, I now brought in this map. Okay, I brought it into the material editor and I passed it through the opacity color. So when you pass it through the opacity color, it is going to cut through the, like wherever you have black, it is going to cut it open. So you, it will now be creating this illusion of having opening on the, on the material. Okay, so for, to be able to, you know, change the color of the material, I just took Corona color map. Okay, and I plugged it into the diffuse and with that I was able to change the color. And then to create the walkway of the of the base, all right, I just duplicated this that same material. That's the material I used to create the perforated part of the material. And then I removed that opacity. Okay, I removed the opacity part and then with this the same color, the color map that I used for the perforated material, I just used it too. So the difference between this this perforated material part of the of the base and the one that is the, like that, the walkway, is just that the opacity map, I removed it from that of the walkway. So we now have a solid, you know, base, whatever you want to call it. So after that, I added human beings. And mind you, as all these things was going on, I was also adjusting the light to be able to give me what I want. Because, you know, as you keep working, as you keep making some changes and applying material, you might find out that, you know, the light that you set when everything was white, is no longer working out the way you wanted it to work out. So from time to time, you adjust the light, you adjust the map if need be, okay? Because what we are doing is an art. This particular, you know, thing is an art. So is there is no science to, you know, what everything is going to be. You can just look at things and determine whether you want to increase things or add things or remove some things. It just depends on you and what you want to achieve so after that i added human beings okay i applied this white material to it to give them this um you know this model look and then i placed them then i did the render setup i set up you know went to the render settings and set up some things you know set the aspect ratio and then set the the noiser you know for the render okay i'm using a square aspect ratio 3000 by 3000 and then also I set the denoiser to Corona high quality. All right. So after that, I rendered the work. So after rendering them, I now exported them, you know, out of 3ds Max, and then took them to Photoshop and did a little bit of post production. So the post production I did was just to, you know, what did I want to do again? You know, it has to deal with. Camera raw filter after which I use hue saturation and then desaturated it a little bit and just that was it. You don't even have to do too much with that um, camera raw filter that you can do a lot with just camera raw filter alone. So I just, you know, increase the exposure a little bit, the contrast and all that. So if you want to see the detailed tutorial of this video, like I said, where I spent time explaining everything, moving things around, even creating this material from the scratch i will leave a link below in the description or you can click or you, or you can click on the right hand side of the, like the top right hand side of of your screen okay i will leave a link also in the description all right so thank you very much for watching this video i will see you in my next one